Kia ora koutou. my name is Simran and I'm a tutor for Kwan Triple One. This year in the VBS inclusivity training we watched a video called The Privilege Walk. There was a line of students who then had to take a step forward every time a statement related to them. So these statements had nothing to do with their own personal achievements and were more around the environments and atmospheres and systems that they grow up in. Each student had the same goal, however, some of them had a head start. This head start is a metaphor for the concept of privilege. Privilege is this idea where you may have an advantage or an extra opportunity unrelated to your own personal achievements. It's about the power imbalances and inequality in society that you often don't have to think about. Often it can be in relation to your gender, race, sex, sexuality, your socioeconomic background, your income, your first language. There's a whole host of different factors that can affect your privilege. It's really important to recognize our own privilege as tutors when we're trying to create an inclusive learning environment. Often we don't even recognize them. For example, within the New Zealand educational system, it is based on the Western world view and often advantages those who learn and understand through the Western viewpoint and that provides an advantage for them. Understanding your own experiences and the way you think and learn can be really important in being able to recognize how other people's experiences shape the way they learn. For example, they may not find learning the content in class easy because English might not be their first language, or they may not want to ask questions because they fear they'll be judged, or they may have even missed a class because they've had to attend to a family issue or go to work. Being aware of all of these different experiences can increase our probability of being able to recognize student hardship and therefore become more inclusive tutors. My top tips on how to be a more inclusive tutor in relation to this topic is to number one, understand the relativity of privilege and the intersectionality that comes with it. Number two is to try and find ways to equalize power relations within the classroom. This could be through providing verbal and written notes so students can have two different mediums in which to take notes. Also through providing a range of examples and authors from different perspectives and backgrounds when including examples in your learning and teaching. And then above all, be empathetic and try and understand and learn about your students' experiences. I hope this video has helped you with some insights on how to be a more inclusive tutor. Kia ora.